now we have x intercept y intercept and turning points all of these things we are having now so what i will do i will sketch them now whatever our x intercept minus 1 and 3 i'll write them here minus 1 will be almost here 3 will be almost here this is minus 1 and this is 3 then y intercept was 18 18 is almost okay you can say here this is 18 you must have to show that values then if you look at that one you know if your cubic equation this is cubic equation ax cube plus bx square plus uh, cx plus d is equal to zero if this is a cubic equation and your a is greater than zero then your sketch will start from that side and will be something like that one and if your a is less than zero then sketch will start from that side and will go in that way so in this case if you see the coefficient of x cube is positive it's clearly greater than zero two is greater than zero so it means you will start from that side okay start from that side and your turning points these are your turning point one of your turning point is three zero and the other turning point is one over three and approximately 19. these are turning points so first turning point will be between this sorry again because of internet i got disconnected usually why i don't know on such a day and this happens all right so now turning point is this is three zero so from here you will bring the curve and will turn from here and then another one is one over three one over three is zero point three three so almost that will be your turning point like 19 you can say is this one so from here okay then take the turn and then should pass through this one and the other turning point is uh, okay that are and then from here pass it so this is your sketch you you sketch for f of x easy to sketch if you remember the point how to sketch clear then part b was uh, hence uh, write f of x in this form that already we wrote in that form where our a is 2 now you can say here a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 10 your c is equal to 6 and your d is equal to 18 that part b already we did because that helped us to find the turning points so already part b is done now part c is hence find the equation of the tangent at this point uh, to the curve at x is equal to 1 over 3. Now at x is equal to 1 over 3 we already found the other points. So what is the equation of tangent? Equation of tangent is always y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Now you just need to find m. Now what m will be f dash x at the, this given point at x is equal to 1 over 3. Now what is your f dash x? This is your f dash x that is 6x square minus 20x plus 6. So in this one put x is equal to 1 over 3. So that will be 6 to 1 over 3 square minus we have here a 20x 20 into 1 over 3 and then plus 6. Simplify that one to get your value of the gradient what is the gradient calculate this one 6 into 1 over 3 square minus 20 into 1 over 3 plus 6 that is 0 it means your gradient is 0 your gradient is 0 then your point is this this is your point this is your x1 this is your y1 so y minus 19 is equal to 0 into x minus 1 over 3. So that will be y minus 19 equal to 0. So y is equal to 19. Even without checking that one, you should know that this is actually a turning point. This is a turning point. So at turning point, your gradient will be 0. Clearly at this point, the gradient will be 0. So this equation is y is equal to 19. Without solving all that one directly, it can be done. It was just easy to solve. Clear?